They were strong, smart, and skilled. But for reasons unknown, they vanished from existence. Now, new discoveries are shedding light on the biggest mystery of all. What happened to the Neanderthals? In this video, we'll uncover fascinating facts about our closest extinct relatives, the Neanderthals. We'll also dive into theories on their shocking demise, rapid growth, and genetic connections to humans today. So make sure you stick around till the end. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, a new type of ancient human emerges in the icy landscapes of Europe and Western Asia. These are the Neanderthals, our mysterious, long-lost relatives. Though short and stocky, they have large brains even bigger than ours. Neanderthals are ingenious survivors, using hand axes and spears expertly to hunt mammoths and other giant beasts of the age. At night, they gather around small fires, finding comfort in the flame's warmth. Imagine you're a quarry worker in 1856, chipping away at limestone in Germany's Neander Valley. Embedded in the rough rock, you suddenly spot what looks like a huge bear skull. But this is no ordinary fossil find. You've just stumbled upon the first glimpse of a lost human world. We now know the mysterious skull belonged to an ancient predecessor to modern humans. But to those 19th century workers, they were bewildering. This discovery would spark a relentless hunt across Europe's caves and excavation sites to uncover more fossils of these elusive proto-humans. Piece by piece, we would put together the story of our long-extinct cousins, the Neanderthals. Who were these thick-browed ancestors who walked the earth before recorded history? How did they live and interact with their surroundings? and what led to their disappearance 40,000 years ago. At first glance, you might mistake ancient Neanderthal bones for modern human remains. But get up close and you'll spot the subtle differences that made this ancient hominids unique. Compared to us, Neanderthals had more prominent brow ridges shadowing their vision and faces that jutted outward to house their enormous nostril capacity. Their towering rib cages were shorter and wider, an adaptation to the Ice Age chill, and their keen eyes gazed out from larger sockets, though it's unclear if their vision was any sharper than our own. The Neanderthal brain was just about equal in size to ours, though elongated in shape, and the average Neanderthal man stood around 1.6 meters tall while the women were slightly shorter at around 1.5 meters tall. Debates continue today about the extent of their intelligence, but it's clear they were well equipped for survival. The Neanderthals probably had handmade tools used for hunting and food gathering. These resourceful hominids once ranged all across Europe and Asia, from frigid northern areas down to the Mediterranean. To fuel their bulky, muscular frames in the harsh climate, they needed up to 4,500 calories per day. No easy fit. To meet this demand, Neanderthals became expert big game hunters, relying heavily on mammoth, rhino, and other megafauna as their staple proteins. Equipped with stout spears, they took down formidable prey in close quarter ambushes, using a teamwork to bring home the meat. But Neanderthals didn't just feast on giant beasts. Recent research shows they rounded out their diet with forage plants, seeds, and whatever else the seasons provided. They ate what they needed to survive including occasionally each other, as evidenced by gnaw marks on some Neanderthal bones. Through ingenuity and adaptation, these early hominids found diverse ways to thrive across Eurasia for over 300,000 years. Their anatomy and lifestyles reveal sophisticated humans with nuanced behaviors, not the brutes some once imagined. 
For years, Neanderthals were portrayed as dim-witted brutes, just one step above apes on the evolutionary ladder. But emerging evidence paints a far more nuanced picture of their abilities that blurs the line between them and us. These ancient hominids had some impressive skills up their fur-covered sleeves. They expertly crafted stone tools for hunting and daily tasks by flaking rocks into axes, knives, and spear heads. And they whittled wood into sturdy sticks for digging roots or finishing off fallen prey. Neanderthals also stitched together animal hides to shield their stocky frames from the icy climate. They may have covered up to 80% of their bodies protecting sensitive areas while allowing mobility, not too different from our own practical outdoor wear today. But perhaps most striking are signs that Neanderthals engage in symbolic thought and traditions. Decorated raptor talons and burial sites suggest rituals we associate with modern minds. And recently, researchers uncovered cave paintings dating back 65,000 years, the oldest known art of its kind. The meaning behind these abstract images remains hotly debated, but their very existence hints at intellectual complexity lurking beneath the Neanderthal's heavy brow ridges. Ultimately, they may have been far more like us than the dim brutes they were long portrayed to be. With stone tools, body coverings, art, and rituals, these ancient humans display remarkable ingenuity and resourcefulness. The Neanderthals may have walked the earth for over 300,000 years, but their time was ultimately limited. Around 40,000 years ago, these ancient hominids mysteriously vanished. What led to their extinction remains fiercely debated today. In some regions, Neanderthals and our direct ancestors, Homo sapiens, lived side by side and even interbred. But despite this commingling, humans won out genetically long term. Some believe our superior adaptability and traits gradually crowded out the Neanderthals, or with less than 15 per clan. Perhaps they were simply overwhelmed by larger human bands. Climate change has also been implicated in their decline. Evidence shows much of Europe plunged into a bitter cold snap just as Neanderthals disappeared. While they were adapted to Ice Age conditions, this extreme cooling may have decimated their numbers. With Neanderthals in retreat, humans then expanded into their former territory. But others argue it was a matter of superior weaponry that doomed the Neanderthals. Ancient humans may have developed deadlier stone spear tips and arrows that gave them the lethal edge. Whatever the advantage, it was enough to push a species that endured hundreds of millennia into irreversible decline. In the end, the Neanderthals could not overcome challenges that spelled success for humans instead. Their world faded as ours emerged to dominate. But their long existence reveals a resilient people, hardly enough to not only survive the Ice Age, but craft tools, create art, and pass down their own cultural heritage. The Neanderthals may be extinct, but their story doesn't end there. Hidden away in the DNA of modern humans are remnants of these ancient hominids, echoes of a shared history. Genetic analysis reveals that up to 4% of the DNA of non-African populations can be traced back to Neanderthal ancestors. This shows that despite vanishing from the fossil record, Neanderthals live on as part of our biological inheritance through past interbreeding. Ironically, with over 8 billion people today, there are more Neanderthal genes currently walking the earth than at any time during their ancient reign. They're a part of us, an extinct species revived through genetic survival. The Neanderthals present a puzzle we're still trying to solve even 40,000 years after their disappearance. With limited fossils and artifacts, we may never fully reconstruct how these early humans lived, hunted, and created. 
But as we uncover more pieces of their story, a picture emerges of remarkable people, not so different from us after all. You've probably seen or heard of a dark cave littered with bones. This chilling scene is shedding new light on the lost world of our Neanderthal cousins. Until around 40,000 years ago, these mysterious ancient humans walked the same lands as our direct ancestors, Homo sapiens. Evidence shows they hunted skillfully, controlled fire, made tools, wore clothing, and may have buried their dead engaging in rituals like us. Yet shortly after modern humans migrated into their territory, the Neanderthals rapidly faded away. But newly uncovered fossils are now unlocking intimate details of how Neanderthals lived, illuminating their capabilities and culture before vanishing from the landscape. Take the recent discovery of a cave piled with the remains of nine Neanderthal men, women, and children apparently brought there by scavenging hyenas. Other sites have revealed possible musical instruments made of bone and ivory. The earliest known cave paintings, intriguing stone structures, and even evidence of medical procedures performed on the injured or disabled. Each fragment of the past whispers secrets from the peak era of Neanderthal civilization. But for all their sophistication, Neanderthals face great challenges. As massive sheets of ice advance and retreat, the Neanderthals must constantly adapt to new extremes. Forests turned to tundra, then back to woodlands. Food became scarce, yet they press on. Around 40,000 years ago, our ancestors began migrating out of Africa. As modern humans spread into Neanderthal lands, interaction increases. There may even have been conflict, but also trade, cooperation, and interbreeding. Forget the image of Neanderthals as dim-witted cavemen chomping on mammoth steaks. Recent findings suggest they were creative vegetarians. Scientists were stunned to learn Neanderthals cooked and ate starchy plant foods as far back as 170,000 years ago. This fiber-rich diet may have nourished big brains and fueled advanced cognitive abilities. The discovery of tubers, lentils, and oats in their teeth challenges notions these archaic humans only ate meat. Another shocker is the rapid rate Neanderthal children matured. By examining fossil teeth, researchers found Neanderthals grew up faster than human kids today. Such fast-paced development implies they evolved superior learning skills and information retention compared to Homo sapiens living alongside them. Did Neanderthal thoughts have higher IQs than our own ancestors? The evidence raises intriguing possibilities. Think Neanderthals just huddled in caves? Think again. These resourceful hunter-gatherers built complex underground structures using stone tools, produced pitch for hafting spear points, and even trapped eagles to collect feathers for decoration. This mastery and modification of their environment required strategic planning between group members. Their advanced survival skills and ingenuity continue to impress. Perhaps the greatest stunner is genetic proof that Neanderthals and other early humans interbred with our direct ancestors multiple times. Many modern humans still carry remnants of Neanderthal DNA. This cross-pollination of genes and cultures was once dismissed as impossible. But it really happened. The DNA doesn't lie. For around 10,000 years, Neanderthals directly encountered and interacted with modern humans migrating into Western Eurasia from Africa. This period of coexistence shaped both Neanderthal and Homo sapiens' genetic makeup and culture. Interbreeding between the species occurred, with modern Eurasians inheriting 1-4% to of their DNA from Neanderthals. This DNA may have provided beneficial adaptations to the new Eurasian climate and diseases. Culturally, 
Neanderthals may have both innovated their own advances and adopted elements of newly arrived Homo sapiens culture. In later years, some Neanderthal tools became smaller and more delicate like human designs. Symbolic usage of raptor feathers and specialized pigments emerge at Neanderthal sites after contact. Potentially imitating human habits, Neanderthal sites also show more use of bone, antler, and seafood as dietary staples, additions archaeologists credit to human influence. Soon after, for reasons still shrouded in mystery, the Neanderthal fires go cold, their stone tools abandoned. After years roaming this earth, these cousins of ours vanish, leaving only faint echoes in our DNA. But their mysteries call out to us today, urging us to unravel their ancient secrets and carry their memories into the future. This is the story of the Neanderthal.